What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Inspiration series. <laughs> and you might notice uh, this world is a little damaged. Just a smidge. So, that is contributed to this little guy, the Phoenix Fury, um, by Valkyrie Ice, I believe. Hey, look at me! I'm actually doing research. Um, I gotta admit, I don't know how this was done. Oh, they're, they're mod things, I guess. Oh, okay. That's interesting. That's pretty cool, actually. So, it's a little fighter type, but it's supposed to have really good move maneuverability, really good weapons, and so on and so forth. And judging by all the thrusters, including the big thrusters, holy crap, uh, this sh thing should move pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure... I guess the cockpit reflection is just from the skybox, which is also pretty cool. Okay, so we have phasers, and apparently, hmm, it doesn't have, let me check here, all blocks, oh, weapons, it has the Gatling guns listed, but they're not functioning, it looks like, which is unfortunate. Interesting. And I'm not entirely sure why the thrusters here are not on unless they were replaced. But anyways... Oh my goodness! This thing is fast! Holy crap! Are you guys seeing that? Good grief. Alright, so check this out. Let's make sure we got a flight path that doesn't involve hitting anything. Wow! And it stops pretty good, too. That is pretty epic. And that looks like... Is that six phaser banks? Oh my gosh. Oh! We might need to reload this. Hold on, I'm not done with the lasers. Okay. So... I just want to get a little closer, but we got to be careful with how fast this thing moves. I ended up running into that ship last time. Okay, phaser banks armed. Oh my. I don't know what these are supposed to be. Like if they're reskinned turrets. Or, I mean, uh, chain guns. But, I mean... Oh, that's the phasers. They're not thrusters. Huh. Holy crap. Is that actually supposed to be chain guns, I wonder? I don't know, but this is awesome. Dude, these things do some damage! Holy crap! I think they're rapid-firing chain guns. Alright, now, just because you all know I like to try and blow things up, which that works very well, I want to see if you can fly while firing them, but you might be going too fast. No, you can! Oh my goodness. This is like the coolest fighter ever. What's our speed at? Okay, so it's... It's clocking in at the, the max speed of the ships. It's just accelerating really fast. Wow. That is pretty freaking cool. I mean, it legitimately feels like a phaser. Like you're in some kind of Star Trek movie. Wow, and they have range on them, too. And we totally just cut that ship in half. That is amazing. That's so cool! Alright, so if you want a fighter design that goes really fast and does a 
crap load of damage. This is the one for you. That is pretty epic. Alright, so that's going to wrap this one up. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this one is kind of cool. Actually, it's pretty awesome, but it's also kind of unfortunate that I can't really showcase this one very well due to my um, specs. It's going to end up being a slideshow, but this is called the Kraken Drill Mining Ship or something of that nature. I know, my research went out the window. Uh, so, it's a ver it's fairly simple looking um, control pod here. And you can actually tell that it's not just my frame rate. My frame rate is actually not as bad as I thought, but it's, it's suffering from that slow motion um, issue. Where, like, you can tell by the fact that I can turn my character before um, the game, like, catches up and it's not actually staying behind my back. Also, when you fly somewhere and then slow down, you can see the dampeners are going very slow. Um, the frame rate isn't too bad. I think I'm getting like 10 or 15 frames per second, depending on where I'm looking. But the actual design of the thing is amazing and complex. Um, I do feel like there may have been a simpler way to do it, but this is probably more robust in terms of movement and everything. But basically, um, it's it's a multi-drilling machine that you've got the landing gears holding each each arm together and then the the arms are connected as you can see with a combination of a reactor um, uh, blocks rotors and connectors that all just kind of repeat in different patterns but the rotors would allow it to move sideways and uh, up and down so the arms could go all over the place now I believe somewhere in the description it mentioned um, that there's like a cockpit on each drill, I thought. So let's try and take a peek here at the actual drilling head. Um, you can see there's azimuth thrusters on here, as well as there's an antenna so you can tell where each one is. There's a remote control. There's a collector. Oh, okay. It, there's a remote control. I should have picked that up. Put, picked up on that from the remote control. Um, there's an ore detector and a remote control and a camera. And collectors and drills, which is pretty cool. And I would imagine... Oh, no. No gravity. Oh, that's cool. There's a little number on there so you know which one is which. So this is four. And you can see how it's all connected. It, you know, would keep popping through each connector until it got to the end. Um, I did read in the description that there's a um, kind of a unload mode, which is where the tentacle locks, and it's probably because all of these connectors will connect to each other, and then they wouldn't be able to be moved kind of thing, or at least not freely. Um, let's see if we can't check out the inside here. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Go. Thank you. So, we've got a refinery here. Refinery there, refinery there. Big reactor. Uh, refineries everywhere, really. And like I said, I apologize for the very frame rate or slow motion is actually the harder part. The frame rate isn't terrible, but the slow motion is like um, I can't really do anything very well. I was looking for the cockpit part that allows you to actually control the ship, and I may have looked or glanced over it and not realized it, but I didn't really see it in there. Let me out! I really hate the collision boxes for the, uh, the characters that are too big. They get stuck on doors. Either the character collision box needs to grow, or the doors need to get wider, one of the two. Um, I did not see an entrance, though. I didn't really look every which way. That's another connector, it looks like. Yeah, you can see the crack in there on the side. That looks like an armored connector. I was kind of hoping it would be an airlock. Anyways, um, I'm sure there is an interior, but with as slow as everything's moving, including my dampeners. I can't seem to stop and start like I should, so um, I think we're going to give up on trying to show this one, but I encourage you all to download it, check it out, and maybe um, 
use it as a... Oh, there's a door. Maybe that's it. Let's see if we can't make it in there. Come on. I forgot how annoying this slow motion glitch was. That, like, the frame rate is fine, but everything moves slow. Come on. Come on. Is there any gravity? No. That would be beneficial. Oh, wait a minute. Did I turn this off? I was trying to cut down on the glitch, and I think I may have turned the doors off on accident. Oh, no, I know what it is. It's, um, I forgot to reset ownership. I didn't realize that was a thing. Um, I mean, I knew that was a thing, but I didn't realize it was on this particular build. I don't know why the grinder is stuck, but I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, you can see that everything's moving real slow. Okay. So here's the seats. They're, um... They're passenger seats, so I don't really know... Oh, I get it. You could get in the passenger seat, and then go into your menu and enable the remote control system. That's cool. And then that's the flight cockpit for the actual ship. Alright, so that's going to wrap this one up. Ul ultimately a pretty cool design. Um, I thought it was interesting and unique. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so up next we have the RE0 Phoenix project thing. Right? Phoenix. Right. Got it. Something like that. Um, now, first off, the one thing that I really have to give to the developer, to the builder, which I believe is Sunday, um, is the turning mechanics. I love that. It might chew up my frame rate more and stuff, but I think that's awesome. It's it's a very interesting touch. Um, but this thing is massive. It's like 33,000 blocks or something, and the closer I get to it, I'm actually very, very surprised at how solid my frame rate is right now. And that's probably due to the lack of complexity on the inside. I read in the description that um, the inside was kind of left bland, or um, kind of basic, so that you could do it yourself if you wanted to, but also just because the outer aesthetics were kind of the important part. Um... I do have a gravity thing here, so I guess this is the right way up. So, we're going to check out the... Um, doesn't look like we're having the slow motion issue. So we're going to check out the interior anyway, just because we can. And it, you know, may be cool. Okay. So yeah, this is kind of just basic inside, and it's probably just got the gyroscopes and other stuff running. I am rather somewhat... oops. I am somewhat curious... can I not fly up? Thank you. Go. I am somewhat curious as to how the spinning mechanics were done. Okay, we've got a lot of cockpit stations here. I like this. This is kind of cool. Especially if you were facing the sun and had some natural light coming through there. That would be a cool section. Okay, this probably goes up to, like, the main bridge. Yep. Oh, with an emperor seat and everything. Ooh, that's a cool way of doing things. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. So let's take a quick fly down here and see exactly how the spinning mechanic... It looks like a windmill effect. That's pretty cool. Oh. This is... Whoa, what is this stuff? Ring rotor. One by one tunnel. Oh, this is a mod. Well, now ain't that interesting. So we may not see it from the outside. What is this thing? It looks like a brain. Does this ship have a mind of its own? Oh, it's a warp drive. Oh, okay. I swear that looked like a brain. Huh. Okay. 
So there doesn't look to be an interior explanation for the rotors. Or not rotors, the um, wheel. The turbine looking thing. So we're going to go... Whoop! What was that? Maybe. There was a hole in the ground. Where does this go? Let's see if this goes out. Nope. Good thing we're in creative. That would have killed me in survival. We're going way too fast in here. It's kind of cool, though. Whee! Sugar blunk. Okay. Um, wait a minute. Where's the down? Oh, we are down. Okay. So... Aha! There you are. Alright, so let's get out of here. Oops. Okay, so let's see if we can't take a peek at this. Without getting smushed and killed. It's possible, since there is some kind of modded rotor wheel in here, um, it's possible that it's basically set up just so they it was built on the rotor wheel and the rotors are just set to spin. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, let me see... Let's turn this off. Let me see if we can get in here. Ah, access denied. Our rotor one engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got torque, no braking, a velocity set to make it spin one way, and then there's no limit or displacement. So it's not set to stop. It's basically just continue to spin, and I'm guessing this one's going to be in a counter RPM. Yep, 7.19. So that's easy. So they basically... Um, let's see what block this is. Gyroscope. Should be... Ah, ring rotor. Okay. So that's, that must be a mod that allows you to, to do that. Let's type it in here. Ring rotor. An advanced ring rotor 3x3 three three tunnel. This is a 1x1. One one. So there were two 1x... So I'm guessing it's like a, um, a rotor that just spins outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would place this down, like this, and then just build that around the ring and then tell the rotor ring to spin. That's pretty awesome, actually. I mean, you could accomplish the same thing without a mod. You could just place a rotor down and then build on that. But still, it's pretty cool that you can just build on the outside of a rotor. But I love the spin. It gives it such a unique design, I think. So anyways, I think that'll about wrap things up for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!